question. Um, I was originally a trade journalist and I used to write about media and advertising. Um, and then somebody who I used to write stories about a lot told me that he was looking to hire a new business person for his agency. And I at first said no, because I'm don't. I'm not a, I'm not a hardcore salesperson. Um, but he kind of convinced me that my journalism background was really well suited to new business and marketing and agencies. So that's how I got on the agency side. I think I was watching lots of people do it badly and just kind of thinking I could do this differently. Um, and I think I've always naturally found myself in positions where people kind of gravitate towards me. Um, so, so yeah, and I think just wanting to do things my own way, really. I love seeing my team thrive and helping get the best out of them. And I love watching them learn new skills and things they didn't know they could do previously. And seeing that really kind of come to life is really, really empowering and really joyful. They just need to lean into them and don't be afraid to join them step out of your comfort zone I think sometimes you might think you're dealing with things in isolation and when you start speaking to other people you find out that you're not the only person that's been dealing with that situation or struggling in a certain area so it's just taking that first step to join a group or take someone out for a cup of coffee I'm always a fan of asking someone for a cup of coffee very rarely do they say no um, and then you'll just probably find you got more in common than you realize I think they need to be really observing and need to be honest around the fact that it's still quite difficult for women, especially in senior positions. We still get undermined a lot. We still get questioned a lot where we're not the same way that our male counterparts are. And it's really important that we have men who step up and recognize when that's happening. I had an amazing uh, boss at my last agency who was so hot on this and could totally see when I was being undermined or you know, if I was in a meeting and I said something, the guy next to me would repeat it as if like it was his suggestion. And he was so hot on kind of calling it out and it, cause it gets tiring when you have to be the one always doing it. So really being true allies and making sure that you're there, visible, you know what's happening. They need to listen, keep listening and listen again. I think it's really easy to think that you know how to do something and walk in and want to start directing, but actually it's really important to listen to what's going on around you and how people are currently working and taking that on board. And when you are making changes, continuing to listen about how those changes are being implemented. So I think listening is the number one thing that will never get overrated. Uh, definitely Sunu Singh, who's the co-founder of Creative Salon. She was my editor when I was uh, a journalist, and she was fantastic. And she was one of the first female leaders that I worked with who was unapologetically herself and was really happy to openly challenge people and kind of really put forth her ideas. I'd never really seen that before. So it was great to see that and then be like, I'm going to do that as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.